All right, people. So in this video, I am going to set my end gap clearances for my N54. Um, I have all the rings in here already. And then I got my ring grinder set up right here. And I got my spec sheet. I already did my math according to this. Um, I'm supposed to be at 18.2 thousandths. So I'm gonna round up to be safe and set them at 19 or like 18 or 19 ish. Honestly, they're probably gonna end up around 19 just because I'm not the best with the feeler gauge. So yeah, I already have all the rings in the bores and just to like pre-measure them to see where they're at. So we're gonna go from there. Okay, so I have my feeler gauge here. I already did the two first, just to get a better idea of how to do this so it goes more smoothly on video. And I have those set. So I'm gonna measure the last four right now. Um, they started off around 10,000, so I'm gonna just go and run this through and see if this goes into any of them. So I'm gonna go start with cylinder four because I already did these. So you just wanna put the feeler gauge in there and see if it goes into the ring. So this one is going in. It fits through the ring. And this one, a little bit tighter. Yeah, so this one's probably put it closer to nine. This one is 10. And then this one is about 10 too. This one's smaller, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go on the feather gauge or the feeler gauge, whatever you wanna call it, and find the nine. I always lose them. So nine thousands on this one, see if that goes through. Okay, so nine fits in this one a minute. So that one's at nine, and then this one was at 10, so I'm gonna go on a run on 11 through all the ones that were at 10 to see if the 11 fits. Yeah, so the 11 does not fit in this one. That one was nine. That one's 10. And then this one is 11. Okay, so I gotta take about nine, eight to nine. I'm gonna start with eight, taking eight thousandths off on the ring grinder. All right, so this, this is cylinder four piston ring. If you notice the top of them have a marking usually or a dot, this one says N50. So, I already got this ring set up. I got the, the, the like jig and everything right to make sure it cuts them straight. So I'm gonna put this in here now. And this one was at 10,000, so my goal is 18 to 19. So I'm gonna start by taking off like eight. So get that all nice and tight in there. And then I will back this off and like get it zeroed. So right when I hear it touch the blade. So now it's touching. So that should be about zero. Yeah, it's pretty zero from the last time. I'm gonna zero the gauge. I'm gonna start this thing up. All right. So I'm gonna get this right at zero. All right. So it's touching now. That's touching. So here, reset the gauge to zero or the dial indicator to zero, and I'm gonna take off eight thousand. There's five, six, seven, eight. 
Pushing this down with a piston. Get it nice and straight. All right. And then I am going to start with a, uh, I'm gonna start with 18 and see if the 18 goes in. Grab the find this gauge, 17, 18. All right. So 18 fits nice. Feel a little bit of drag on it, which is good. Make sure that that doesn't separate and like, so you get the most accurate reading possible. Okay, now I'm gonna go to 19, see if 19 fits. 19 does not fit. You see that? So we are right at 18 thousandths on this one. I'm gonna move on to the next one. So pull this one out. thing back off the zero because this this little slide right there you put the ring up against this so it's pretty close to zero every time you put a new ring into it so this one was a little bit smaller I'm still just gonna go and take off like eight just a ballpark I don't want to go too much you can always take more off you can't put it back so yeah here we go right at zero it's gonna make noise See that? It's right when I hit zero on the gauge. So yeah, here. It's five, six, seven. Try 18. Yeah, okay, so 18 doesn't fit. So try 17. 17 fits. So I'm gonna take like another thou off of this. gonna fit. So 17 fits nice, easy. The 18, like these feather gauges are kind of weird sometimes. Yeah, so it's definitely in there. I don't like how tight it is though. Because it fits into this one nice. It's a little bit tighter on this one. Going into that one nice. Going into this one nice. 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 Freaking mint. There we go. Okay, so I am going to do the scraper rings now. These rings have like a little lip on them that faces down in the cylinder and they're marked with the uh, N50 on the top. So I'm going to put all these in there and do the before measurements and then I'm gonna grind them all up and get back to you when it's done. To the uh, CP Carrillo spec sheet, they should be four to, four to eight thousandths bigger than the top ring and the top rings are at, at right at 19 thousandths. So I'm gonna set these at 25.
I got all the uh, scraper rings ground up now. All of them are at exactly 25 thousandths. This one's a little tighter, but it's still there. That spec gives you a little bit of wiggle room, but I'm, I want them all to be as close as possible. So all of those are now done. And now I'm just gonna keep track of where they came out. Everything gets lined up, so. Okay, so for the uh, oil rings, the spec is 15 thousandths, and I put these all in, and the 15 thousandths feeler gauge fits in all these loosely already, so they're within spec. So I don't even have to grind these, which is nice, because they're super thin and delicate. But you can see it's 15 fit in there, so I'm happy with that, and I'm just gonna leave these as is. All right, so all of my rings are grinded up to where I want them. I have the top rings at 19 thousandths. I have the scraper rings at 25 thousandths, and then these are at about 16 to 17 thousandths. So I went off of the uh, paper that came with the pistons, and I figured that these are specs that I'm gonna run with. And yet again, I went with the uh, turbocharged one because of the turbo sitting over there. So yeah, everything's grinded up. And in the next video, I'm going to put the uh, rings on the pistons and get those ready to go, throw them on the connecting rods and get the rotating assembly together. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed.